What's going on everybody? Chris with Desk House. I wanted to make a follow-up video to our Magnus Pro Desk review slash trash talk we did. I know that got a lot of views and a lot of hate comments, you know, yada yada. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about that. But first, Secret Labs, I got a question for you. When can I use my desk without worrying about being shocked? I, you know, I have no idea. Uh, the fact is it's September, or no, it's not September, it's October 24th. And on September 17th, you set all your customers an email saying, hey, don't use your biggest feature on this desk, which is the power and leg. Uh, unplug it, plug the control box into the wall, and only use it that way. Uh, so it's been over a month and you haven't communicated to me or any other customers for, like, for all I know. Uh, I would really appreciate an update because for $960, uh, I kind of expect a desk to come and work, and I also expect the desk to be stable. So let's follow, let's go back to the first video and address some of the comments. Yes, guys, we're a competitor. Um, we do these videos for fun because we sell four leg bases. We sell desks that are extremely stable, um, and that's our focus. We also sell two leg desks that just are pretty comparable to this right here. Why do we sell a two leg desk? Because we don't want to lose you as a customer. Because the fact is, if you're 5'4", five, 5'6", five, you're on the shorter side, this desk right here is going to be fine for you. To an extent, because I'll talk about some other things, um, but we have a, a competing desk that's basically $300 less, and you can use all the features and you don't have to worry about, you know, I can only speculate. I think someone probably got shocked, and Secret Labs put a pause on this whole thing. Everything went to pre-orders. But I really don't think you know they're out of stock. I, I bet they have warehouses full of this stuff, but they just don't know what to do with the column issue. Uh, and they're probably worried about it happening to somebody else. Again, total speculation, but after a month and a half, it's kind of all I can do at this point. But if you're on the shorter side, you know, look, I got this beer right here. Your, your desk is totally fine. And, and I remembered the bubble. Everybody always goes, oh, well, you're on a cement floor. You're not level. Well, guess what? Every desk out there has glides on it where you can just unscrew them and make a desk level. So for your guys' viewing pleasure, level side to side, level front to back. And as I said, look, this desk, eh, you don't sponsor us. You only get the side view. It's totally fine at this height. This is Abby height. This is short pupil height. Hey, look, so is our desk. Totally fine at this height. 675, 940, 960. We did get the magnet accessories. Um, I mean, this can be even cheaper. You can get our just our Apex 2 leg at 4, 425 and a, and a 245 top, which is 670. So for 300 more dollars, you can buy a go, go buy a cable trough, cable snake, whatever you want. And just going back to like Secret Labs and on their execution on this whole base, the, the bigger one, this doesn't apply to because the, the bigger desk has a deeper top. But, you know, they have this really cool integrated trough. But if you put a monitor, it's going to go right here. Even if you do a clamp monitor arm, it's like the monitor is going to be floating here. So ergonomically, I'm working back here. Like, where's the desk? Like, otherwise, if I'm standing right here, I'm way too close to this monitor. And it's just not going to work. So I don't know. I don't know what height. What did we say your height, standing height was? I don't know. Maybe maybe it was taller, but anyways, let's just let's crank this guy up a little bit. And this is like the other thing, short people. Sorry guys, I'm not trying to call you short people, but you might have this desk, and again, it might be a great desk for you. But for everybody else, oh no 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 no. Oh, I hit it. <laughs> I was like, this thing is like has its own mind. Like for everybody else, that, that shouldn't happen. I mean, I don't, I don't know what height that was, but I do not think Apex, please don't do it. Please don't do it. I don't think at this height, even if I really start to... I, would, I, I thought it was gonna do that. I thought it was gonna fall. Even at that height, should like, should a guy, a gal, should they not be able to enjoy their beer while they're working at our de their desk, or if they run into it, or if their knee hits it, I, I, I don't know. But this, whoop, 
That is just unacceptable. And again, go back to the first video. Just pay attention to like what I say. The weight of the feet, not good to start. It's an ex extrusion, very light. And the biggest issue is really the column tolerance and how tightly they put, put it together. Because right here, this is where I'm gonna put my feet on this. You're gonna see all of this play. So even with both feet on it, all that play is happening between this column. Could they fix it? Totally. Why not? I don't know. And usually this wedge design right here really helps with side to side, but it doesn't help at all. And again, that ties into the frame part, but just go back to the first video. And lastly, like this is what we build guys. I'm going to send this go all the way to the top. I'm not even going to level it. You can assume it's level. If it's not level, that would only hurt me. Oh, not sponsoring us. Like, I'm not going to spill this beer. That's just no bueno, guys. That's it. I'll see you.